Hello, it's Mr. Pikmin Master. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a very long time, but I've been busy with Christmas and school. So anyway, I'm going to show everybody how to get an emulator on Mac due to the trouble I've had with getting one that works consistently and makes save states reliably. I've usually emulators don't do that correctly or are hard to use. Well, this emulator is better than Super NES 9X, which was very glitchy and took up an insane amount of desktop space with all of the um, things it created by itself, all the separate files. So anyway, the first thing you need to do is get a Windows emulator, which is cross over Mac. I prefer this to Wine Bottler at this point. So you click try now, type in a name. My name is Isaac. And you type in an email, so just make one up. Organization not required, not required, not required. And you click this, and it will automatically let you download it. It will work for 30 days, but you just have to submit it again. Or you can just get, download the full version illegally, or you can buy it, your choice. So, yeah, you download this. It will open up in this um, this little thing. You just type in crossover. I've already downloaded it, and it says, you know, the trial will end. So you just click try now. And when you do, you'll get this window. Um... When you get this window, you just click. So here we have the thing that lets you run Windows applications. Now we need an emulator. So Raukow, an awesome YouTuber, uses this emulator called Z Super NES. I don't really know how to say that. Z NES. Anyway, you click here and you make sure you download the Windows version and that will download. So now you have your emulator and you have your Windows emulator, so you're emulating an emulator, which is why this is confusing. Now you can't double click on Z Super NES, and if you do, it won't open. Crossover open, but it won't open the file. You have to manually open it, and just type Z Super NES in here, and you have to click open. And here you go, reliable emulator. Now here's the really annoying part. When it opens, you'll have this little arrow thing that does not follow you around. Um, this is what you have to do. You have to get the arrow, just kind of move randomly until you get the arrow over any of the things on the top, or any, or you just move it over load. I've noticed load is the most reliable, so you move it over load. It's kind of hard to do. It's harder than it looks. Then you click you click this and then it will follow your mouse. Usually. Okay. Now you can close this if you want to. Anyway, now we have our emulator. And in order to emulate games, you have to put them in your um you have to put them in the um, documents folder of the Z Super NES, which will come with it. And then you just directory, you double click documents, and they will open and have all your um, ROMs. So now, the only thing you have left to, you have your emulator, you have your ROM. Well, you, you download ROMs from Cool ROM, download Super Mario World. Now you need your patcher which is what puts the hacks on the puts the hack it just applies the hacks to the ROM. So you type in IPS Lunar Magic and you have to find it. Alright, after flipping through my history, I have found the um Lunar IPS website. So I'm going to put this link in the description due to the fact it's kind of hard to find. Um, 
So yeah, just click download right here. Download the thing. And once again, you have to open it. You have to open it in crossover. You can't just um, double click it. You have to manually do file open. And then just download it from there. Um, once you open that, well, let's open it so you guys can see. It's a little bit complex. If you have any experience, you should know how to do it. Alright, manually opening it, not double clicking it. This has to be emphasized. Alright, you click Apply IPS Patch. So you go to Downloads. Now watch out, you have to click All Files. You have to. Just trust me, it makes things easier because it cannot, it can sometimes not recognize it wait this is the wrong, yeah, no wait this is the right folder docs and then you click open and you go back to your folder, click docs and then you make a copy of your original Super Mario World ROM or just download it twice to making a copy is easier and then you click this and then you click open and then it will say ROM successfully patched or something like that and um there you go, you'll have your new copy. Remember to name the copy the name of the hack so you'll be able to tell them apart. And there you have your copy. So you go back to your um, um, Z Super NES. And you scroll down a bit. You click open. Now you let this load. Now you gotta do this glitchy mouse thing. This is more hard. It's harder than it looks, but you can do it. Changing your sensitivity seems to affect it. So if you can't even do this at all, try changing your sensitivity. Make comments if you figure out how to avoid this. Clicking anywhere on the background on this, like anything that on on a link that doesn't do something, will immediately freeze it and you have to command option escape it to force quit it manually so don't click here don't click here don't click here don't click here don't click in the blue don't click above any of these all of those will freeze it trust me so you click now when you make a free save state it gives it a different extension it makes, see this is scm SMC that's the that's the ROM file. This is the save state file and I don't even know what that is. So you click load and um A is run. Um A is run Z now you just click I have a save state already open saved. So A is run, Z is normal jump. Um X is spin jump. By the way, the name of the hack I have is Yoshi Mario's Adventure into the Yoshi Heartlands. Oh, I died. All right, that was really failed, but I wasn't really ready. So you have to click Escape, Open, Escape again. Anyway, as you can see, it's a pretty nice simulator. So yeah, I'm gonna quit out of this. Surprisingly, a surprise it didn't freeze. Anyway, if you have a Windows. You can just do the same steps, except you don't need crossover. You can just download Lunar Magic and download the ROM and download Z Super NES, and you don't have to open them crossover. You can just double click them and they should work. I don't know much about Windows because I don't own one. But, yep, comment, rate, subscribe, post any problems you may have, and enjoy. Uh, most other tutorials out there are either out of date, um, just don't work, and or are useless I guess so this should help the people like me who are trying to play some good ROM hacks because ROM hacks are amazing and subscribe rate I don't know don't stop believing bye have a good Christmas I mean have a good new year